finally! I am so, so sorry. I know it's been almost a year and you guys have wondered why I haven't put any videos up on my channel. Uh, a lot has happened uh, in a year. Uh, well, almost a year. I think the last time I posted was early August. Um, well, I, I guess uh, now is a good time to uh, tell you what's going on uh, within the last year. Uh, I've been traveling a lot. So, uh, I've been on the road a lot uh, these last uh, almost a year. I, I have to say that this year has just been a whirlwind of uh, crazy emotions uh, for people of color. Uh, the Oscars, uh, Viola Davis finally won her Oscar. I know, again, I'm sorry that I am this late talking about it, but I just want to share my opinions about that. Viola Davis is one of my favorite, favorite actors uh, of this day and age. She is just incredible. She slays every role she's in, including Suicide Squad last year. Um, I, I, I think I mentioned um, I don't know if I actually talked about um, uh, how I, what I felt about Suicide Squad. Uh, didn't really like it, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, but she was literally one of the best things about Suicide Squad. Uh, her acting uh, as Amanda Waller was just top notch. She just, I don't know if you love to hate her. I just hated her in general. But uh, to me, it was just like. It was just a hate-love relationship because she was just so just damn demanding and demeaning and just just a despicable character. And uh, anyways, um, her work on Fences, both on the big screen and also on stage, was just phenomenal. That you you see the reason why she won the Tony when she did it on Broadway and then won the Oscar finally. Um, back in February for the film version. But, um, I mean, it's just phenomenal. Uh, Mr. Ali, <laughs> he knows who he is, um, to go from uh, Luke Cage to Moonlight. Um, just phenomenal, phenomenal. I am a supporter of the uh, LGBT rights, and I thought that this was just an amazing portrayal, and especially for a first-time director to get uh, to win Best Picture. That, especially, you know, it just it is mind-boggling. And I was so happy for uh, Barry Jenkins and for the rest of the cast and crew. Uh, congratulations on that uh, honor. Uh, not just take away from La La Land, because La La Land was amazing. I, I love the mess out of that movie. I'm a big sucker for musicals. Um, uh, I have not seen the new Beauty and the Beast movie. Uh, don't condemn me for that. I, again, have a life to live. Uh, I'm trying to watch as many movies as possible, but, you know, life doesn't stop. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, there's a bunch of movies I've seen this year. Um, most recently just got done going to see Girls Trip, which is hilarious. So freaking hilarious. Uh, Tiffany Haddish. I remember when she was on Comic View and she slayed on Comic View. And this is this is about a little over a decade ago, the first time I saw her on Comic View. Uh, Tiffany, I think he's now 30. 37 37 um and i didn't know her uh, back uh, her, her backstory uh but it's just so inspiring you know she's so humble and i mean it was just obviously the breakout star in girls trip just downright hilarious and it shouldn't matter if it's a movie about women i support i support anything uh, regarding people of color as long as it's in a good stable uh, context I guess you could say and uh, honestly I've always supported Malcolm D. Lee the director and uh, co-producer of the film ever since I saw his first film which is uh, if you don't know The Best Man and obviously he uh, did The Best Man Holiday as well 
I, I've been following this man's work for a very, very long time. And he's just a phenomenal director. And Will Packer as a producer, he just brings so much tenacity to a lot of these films. Uh, with the most recent one before, um, Girl Strip being uh, Almost Christmas. And uh, just a phenomenal producer. Uh, he's bringing uh, powerhouse films, kind of like... Um, Jason Bloom does with his Bloom House Productions. And speaking of Bloom House, how about Get Out? Damn, damn, damn. Jordan Peele, you are one brilliant bastard. I'm, I'm going to come back to Girl Strip, but I just have to say, when I heard about Get Out, I thought, you know, when they said Jordan Peele was going to be director, I was like, oh, this must be a comedy. But they were like, no, this is going to be a, a horror movie. And I was like, wait, what? Jordan doing horror? And I watched the movie. And oh my damn. If that was not the most brilliant piece of film I've ever seen in my life. Bravo, Jordan. Just bravo. The cast. Daniel Allison Williams from Girls. Uh, Bradley Whitford, who I, I love since uh, Billy Madison and also The West Wing, Catherine Keener and Caleb Landry Jones, Laurel, Laurel Howard, <laughs> too. If you have not seen him, like Tiffany, uh, both of them did this show called The Carl Michael Show, which unfortunately. Uh, um, got canceled by NBC. I don't know really the whole story about it, which sucks. But those two are hilarious. And Laurel killed it. Again, just breakout star. He he killed it. He freaking killed it. And every scene he was in, just amazing movie. Jason Bloom, just amazing in every right. And again, like I said, uh, I, I spoke about people of color, so it's just not only just black, but um, also uh, people uh, from other uh, different ethnicities. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, just going back to Jason Bloom. Split. Again, bravo. I mean, bravo. Uh, I, and welcome back, finally. You finally brought something back to the table. I mean, we can say... You know, the visit it was is what brought him back. But honestly, Split, that is brilliant. That is brilliant storytelling. Brilliant. And the twist, oh, man, I don't want to, <coughs> excuse me, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But the twist was just amazing. Just literally amazing. I could not believe how the structure of that movie was and it was just just downright just brilliant and just uh, did a phenomenal job Shyamalan great job I cannot wait for what comes next I'm pretty sure you guys already know I don't want to spoil it for uh, the many people who have yet to see Split but just damn man just fantastic James McAvoy just Oh, he killed it. Damn, that was such a good movie. Split and Get Out. Oh, I, I enjoyed the mess out of those movies.